Hello friends! In today's video, I'm planning an extreme budget challenge. I'll be trying to eat for as close to $20 for the week as possible. I'll be enjoying some of my favorite foods and I'll still be purchasing things like sour cream and cheese, so I don't plan to go without this week, even though we have a very limited budget. I'm excited because I'll be using Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix in some creative ways. This menu and budget can easily be doubled, tripled, or even quadrupled if you're trying to feed a family on a tight budget. I was hoping to find a specific type of bagel that was only $1.58, but I didn't get to Walmart until about 1 o'clock, so they're already sold out of that item. That's the bummer about coming to Walmart on the weekends. They do sell out of the best value items fairly early on, so keep that in mind if you are trying to save money on food. The bagels would have had twice as much protein in them. However, there would have only been five bagels. And with these English muffins, there's six in the container. So that's one additional meal or snack. I'm going to make do with these fork split English muffins for $1.42. I think they'll work just fine. <laughs> I was so surprised when I saw that this bread that I normally pick up for a dollar is now a dollar 47. I mean, I know it's been a bit since I've been here, but that's 47 cents higher. I definitely can't afford the additional 47 cents, so I'm going to look for another option. I was planning to get cheddar, but I saw this Gouda and it made me a little bit excited. Gouda is a great melting cheese, so I could make a grilled cheese sandwich. I don't know if any of you have had the grilled cheese from Starbucks, but it is amazing. And it's made with a Parmesan cheese and Gouda, and it's absolutely delicious. With this bread that I got, I could use one of those. I don't know if you could tell, but there are actually two in that loaf of bread. I could use one of those to make a Gouda sandwich. That would be delicious. The only problem is it's a little bit risky because I'm not sure how it will go with the other dishes I'm planning to make, but you know what they say, no risk, no reward. And there's something very luxurious about eating Gouda on an extreme budget challenge. Since I'm only shopping for myself today, I'm going to go ahead and get the six pack of eggs. I think that that'll work fine for me this week. Obviously, if you're doubling this and you want to do this for two people, you're going to save a little bit more money on the eggs by getting the larger carton. Or if you also wanted to take this and use it for a family you could do you know like eighty dollars a week uh, just times it by four but you're obviously you're always going to save money in getting the larger quantity i'm looking for the festive brand ground turkey i do need to get a pound for my recipes this week and all i could find was this jenny o i was looking pretty much everywhere but of course as usual it was hidden i actually had to take out my phone and look up on the Walmart website the festive brand ground turkey and it let me know it was in aisle A7 so then I was able to find it over here in the frozen foods right next to the less expensive hamburger meat. The Walmart brand pasta is almost entirely sold out. This was the last box of Garden Routine. If I go with this, I can make a homemade marinara and also I could do half with some kind of a cold salad. That sounds really good to me. And also I like to mix things up a bit. So I think that that would be a good purchase.
I am actually very excited about my grocery haul because of course I'm planning to make things that I love to eat. I did want to get some other types of grains, but as it turns out, Walmart just wasn't the best place for that. I am going to go ahead and use these Rancho Gordo beans that was sent to me last week because it's the right amount. I needed about a pound of pinto beans and I'd love to try them. I will put a dollar in the budget for the great value pinto beans. As always, the ingredients list along with prices will be in the description box of my video. I'm doing the same thing with the rice where I've already got some in my pantry, so I'll be putting in the budget for the great value brand of one pound of rice. I've got cream salt corn. I've got two cans of tomatoes. I also was able to pick up two apples that were on a great deal at Wholesome Choice on the way home, and I was able to get one potato. I have one brown onion and 30 tortilla shells. Again, I am counting out for the tortilla shells for the great value brand. I actually picked mine up in bulk at Sam's Club, so ended up spending a little bit less. So if you are able to get some of these ingredients in bulk, or if you're buying for four people in your family, so you're maybe quadrupling this recipe, then obviously you're going to save some money on the beans and rice. I'll be cooking all of the garden rotini at once. I'll use half for a cold pasta salad and the other half I'll eat along with the homemade marinara sauce. The package says it has eight servings, but I find this is not true. I'm going to count this as four servings. I'll have two servings of pasta salad and two pasta with marinara meals. And since I'm eating double servings, I'll get 16 grams of protein per serving just from the garden rotini. I almost never rinse my pasta, but I am gonna rinse it here because I cooked it perfectly to al dente and I want it to stay that way. Since I'm on a limited budget this week, I definitely wanna make sure that I don't ruin the pasta by overcooking it.
I was inspired to make a marinara because a couple weeks ago I was using up a leftover half a can of tomato sauce and I made a homemade marinara with spaghetti and it was so so good and this was very good as well I like mine chunky like this but if you like yours more smooth you can always run it through the blender or purchase the crushed tomatoes I have three dishes that I want to use the Jiffy Corn Muffin Mix with. If you've been my friend for a while now, you may remember when I stocked up on these at Winco. At that time, I said we would be doing some fun stuff with this mix, and today is a good time to start. I want to make some corn fritters with a sour cream dip. I want to make a couple of jalapeno cornbread muffins, and I also want to try to use this as a breading for zucchini. I'm not sure how it's going to turn out, but I'm going to go ahead and give it a try.
I loved these corn fritters. They were one of the best things I made this week. I was afraid that maybe I was adding too much corn, but it turned out perfect. I added a small amount of chopped jalapeno. It was just enough to add flavor, but not any heat. I would love to experiment with this recipe. Maybe try it next time with green chilies and cheddar cheese. That would be really good. This is a modified version of one of my family's favorite recipes. We make a big pot of this at least once a month during the winter months. A couple of these ingredients are optional. If you don't have the bay leaves or the chipotle powder, that's okay. It'll turn out just fine without them. My normal recipe calls for half kidney beans and half pinto beans along with a box of chicken broth. I usually do use both regular chicken broth and the bouillon. This turned out great with just the chicken bouillon, so that's fine, but if you do have a chicken broth in your pantry, it will add a little bit of richness to the chili. Let this simmer for two to three hours at a very low heat. When you first taste this, it will seem a little bit bland, but that's okay because it's going to take some time for those flavors to develop, but I promise you this will be delicious. This recipe is a great way to make the meat stretch further and feed a large amount of people. The festive brand ground turkey did seem to end up in smaller pieces as opposed to the other ground turkey that I normally purchase, but it worked just fine. And that's a matter of personal preference, whether you like the larger chunks of meat in your chili. We do love using this as leftovers. You can make chili cheese fries, chili dogs, and it does taste great along with cornbread. Our family likes the many different versions of chili, but this this soupy version is our favorite because we love the broth and when we get to the bottom of the leftovers it is much thicker so if you wanted to use that on like the chili cheese fries that's perfect because we we definitely eat up the broth obviously if you wanted to make a thicker chili from the start simply don't add the water but if you're looking to save money on food this is the way to go because it creates a greater volume of food we usually top our chili with cheddar cheese 
sour cream, and tortilla strips. This week we tried Gouda, but I do prefer cheddar. Also, it seems like no matter how many tortilla strips we make, there are never enough. I'll add a few to the top and then continue adding them as I'm eating my chili. It adds a wonderful chewy texture to the dish and makes this recipe a 10. I really did enjoy the menu this week. I don't frequently purchase these English muffins, so it definitely was a treat having them. And I enjoyed the roasted tomatoes along with the avocado and the gouda melted so perfectly. I think if I was gonna do this over again, I probably wouldn't have had the gouda in the corn chowder because it didn't really add anything to the soup. The soup was already delicious as is. The fried zucchini turned out great. The next time I use that batter, I'm gonna add some cornmeal just to give it a little bit of added texture to the dish. The corn chowder was my first soup of fall and it just tasted so good to me. I also thought that the pasta salad turned out really good and it was an excellent use for the gouda. I think that gouda is definitely the way to go if you're going to add a cheese to your pasta salad. I think if I did the same menu again, Instead of doing Italian parsley, I would purchase cilantro. I created this budget for one person, but you can easily double, triple, or quadruple the budget to feed a larger family. There was plenty of chili for at least two people for the week, and possibly three, especially if you have a child. If that's what you plan to do, I'll have more information for you in the description area of my video. That's it folks, I hope you like my video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.